Alrighty, what have we got today? Allies and Cornucopia, I believe. The Corn Guilds Hammer. Okay. So I see a lot of stuff that can get favors. Guildmaster, Underling, Broker. Oh, and Bobble. Four favorers. Uh, but the the ally is Gang of Pickpockets, which I think is not the most impactful. It's a mild attack that you have to deal with. Uh, so probably you want to get a favor per turn to pay off the Gang of Pickpockets. Just like adding one underling can do that. There's not much incentive to get a bunch of favors, so probably Guildmaster doesn't look great here. Uh, what about the rest of the kingdom? Draw. There's Hunter for draw. Capital City can be draw. Uh, for example, if you play something that gives you money, like Guildmaster or Jester, and then play Capital City, and just do the second option. Pay the money towards two cards. You drew three in total. You used two cards to do it. You're netting yourself one draw. Not the most efficient, because you're putting like two expensive cards together to make one lab. Capital City is usually a lot happier when it can be a village. But it is draw in a pinch. It's also broker. You could broker expensive stuff for a village effect. There's not a great way to shove expensive stuff in your deck. Maybe um, in the Odyssey's pile there's sunken treasure which can gain you actions you don't have a copy of. Probably you're playing with the good actions, but you'd be gaining like jesters or guildmaster or something and then brokering them and regaining them. Maybe an easy way to feed the broker, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then Hunter is just like, on average, a laboratory. Can be better, can be worse, depending on what you reveal. If you're playing with mostly actions, it often whiffs. But even when you only draw one card, it's still at least sifting, so it's not bad. So a bunch of okay draw. Oh, and lastly, I guess worth mentioning, is Distant Shore at the bottom of the Odyssey's pile. Um, ironically, the Sunken Treasure is not at the bottom. Uh, but Distant Shore is, and that's a draw card, provided you can deal with the estates. So we got some amount of draw, specialist and capital city for villages. For trashing, we got broker. And is that it? I think that's it. Plus buy is bauble. There's also specialist for gains. Jester kind of sort of gains things. Sucking treasure gains actions. What's the bane for young witch? Old map. Okay, that's a good bane. I I think all which is generally weak, I probably don't expect to get one here. But with the only trasher being broker, the curses hurt decently much. Broker's fine at dealing with the states. It's pretty bad at dealing with coppers and curses. Uh, so if you could manage to hit a few curses, that can make a difference. Uh, fortunately, I think old map's a card you probably want anyway. Which will hopefully block enough attacks to make old witch not look great. We'll see. But it does like its attacks. So... General game plan. I don't think there's anything amazing here. There's no synergies that pop out to me. There's just a bunch of okay stuff. You got all the stuff you need to build. So I think you click a bunch of the cards and things eventually start working. Uh, is my initial assessment. How to open broker old map probably. Could be broker underling as well or broker shop. Uh, I guess I gotta figure out which of those three I want, because I got the three four. Old map is prophylaxis against a potential young witch, and I, just, I don't trust the bot not to be a nuisance. Shop makes the most money, which is probably best at hitting five. Underling. I guess that's the least important at the moment. Um I think I want a copy of underling for the favors. But I've got one starting favor. You always start with one favor. Uh with importer you start with bonus favors as well. Uh, and that should get me through the next shuffle, and then I can add an underling after that, maybe. <sighs> I'm gonna say old map. I think old map's still pretty decent at hitting five, because I can sift past your estates to find more coppers. And yep, yeah, bot you little rascal. Or in this case, sift past my coppers to find estates. Um. Should I spend the favor here? So I've got a shot at hitting five. I need to find an estate. The trouble with old map is you draw one, then you discard first, and then draw one. So imagine I draw an estate, for example. I'd probably pitch the copper, 
but then maybe I draw into a second estate. Um, it's hard to guarantee that I find an estate off this old map. I think it's still worth spinning the favor, right? Yeah, because if I don't find an estate, I want to be able to trash a copper and still hit three, probably. Estate? Nope. <laughs> sad. Um, oh, that's actually quite sad, isn't it? <laughs> that also means I got two dollars coming up next turn. Boy. Hmm. Not looking so hot. I'm going to take a second old map. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, hardbot. Thank you. Thank you for not having your young witch turn three. I got another shot at drawing my old map. Uh, I think bubbles better than nothing. I'm definitely going to want it for plus buy. No! No! Please! Bottom deck? Nope. <laughs> uh, things are not going well. Things are not going well at all. Uh, discarding here is now not optional. Um, might just be plus cards here. There's not much value hitting four. I mean, I guess I could play with old witch actually, young witch, witch of some age. Bot has no old maps. And there's a bunch of junk to be sipped with. I guess I guess I'll take a a young witch. Bot has two young witches. My goodness, you little demon. I think I want an underling, but I think with two young witches, I just want these old maps more. <laughs> well, the bot, no, the bot could have top decked an old map there if it wanted to, with Bobble's effect. I think I'll probably take the last one. Uh, I have two other old maps. So I think with 100% certainty I have one down there. So I'm just going to take the favor. Don't need to top deck this. And buy an underling. Spin favor. Can I find an estate? I can. Joyous day. Well, uh-oh. Whew, uh... That's... All my old maps. So I should... <laughs> darn it. Um... So I would just trash the estate for a five. But now I'm inclined to think I should draw. Draws two cards at the top, so I get two chances to draw an old map. Um, even better... Is I also get, oh, I guess to be clear, if I draw two cards at the top, I'll have three cards in my hand that are left over. So next turn, I'll reshuffle my discard pile and have three chances then to draw an old map into my starting hand. But also, right now, this turn, I have two chances to draw a bobble, which would allow me to top deck the last remaining old map to protect against the young witch. So I think cards are worth it. <laughs> okay, the game said, never mind, you're hitting five after all. This is still overall a fine outcome. Um, I at least trigger a shuffle and maybe draw an old map. Uh, I think Capital City now. Got two terminals. Don't do it. Hardbot, please. Hardbot, listen. This is unacceptable. Uh. Um. It's gonna spin the favor. I got a bobble in hand. Apparently I didn't need it. <laughs> Uh, coin favor underling. I probably don't need two of those. Maybe that could have been a shop. How does the bot hit five more off a double young witch opening? That is unjust. I know the answer. The answer is my turn three was really bad. That was the broker all coppers turn. Um... Do, do, do. I might want a voyage. Voyage seems all right here. You can get in a broker play or a a young witch play. 
Am I trying to trash? So we discard these and trash. I'm hitting three, which is okay. Um, I don't bother trashing. I hit five. I don't think I want to trigger this shuffle, so I'm probably not drawing any further. I'm looking at two of my best cards right now, the Capital City and the Broker. There's not much I value down there. Yes, I think it's between hitting five or hitting three and getting a trash in. Trashing's pretty valuable. Tough call. I think I'm just going to discard. Or am I? I'm going to trash Final Answer. Uh-oh. Old map? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I... Well, at this point, I'm mostly spinning my wheels. Because I'm spending uh, a big chunk of my turns just trashing Hardbot's garbage. I would have loved to just discard one curse and keep one in hand to trash. Uh, but I don't think I can keep both curses. And uh, discarding one is not an option. I think I just want to cycle as far as I can. Without triggering a shuffle. Playing both of those old maps would have triggered a shuffle. Oh, the bot had an old map. Missed that detail. Go coin top deck voyage. Underling Capital City. I'm just going to discard coppers now. I can discard the curse off of old, uh, Young Witch if I don't find the broker, which I did. Uh, well, didn't rotate in time to stop the bot from getting a voyage. Alas. Does it hit? It does. Oh, and I hit one. What a lovely number. Might as well discard here because I can only play three total cards. No sense wasting a favor. Um, so I can trash a card with Broker. What else can I accomplish? Hmm. I like the old maps, but I'm kind of inclined to say, what if I just discard a copper, trash the old map, take coins, top deck, and just top deck a sunken treasure? I think. The other option is just trash copper for nothing. So would I rather have uh, an old map and a copper, or let me rephrase that. It's like option one, I trash a copper. Option two, I trash an old map and gain a sunken treasure. So I could have a sunken treasure and a copper in my deck, or I could have just an old map in my deck. And I think it, uh, sunken treasure plus a copper sounds better. Um, especially because I can top deck it, which also blocks Young Witch. And at the moment, the Sunken Treasure has plenty of good targets. Probably if I play my Capital City, I'll take a Hunter, and if I don't, I'll take Capital City. Spend favor. I'd love to play my Voyage if possible. I don't know how likely that is. Uh, 
I was confused for a second, like, why isn't let me discard? Uh, I thought that was an old map, and it was not. It's merely an underling. Discard these first. I think I'd rather discard the curses after triggering this shuffle, so that they miss the shuffle. Uh, is it worth saving one to trash? I'll hold on to it for the moment. See if I draw the broker. I'm not going to hold that hope. Well, <laughs> now the broker shows up. Um, just the way it goes sometimes. Okay. A lot of good options here. Hunter, Specialist, Distant Shore all look good. Distant Shore, being a victory card and an action card, has a lot of synergy with Hunter. Because if you reveal a bunch of actions with Hunter, you can take... Distant Shore as the victory card rather than as the action card, so that's nice. The estate at this stage of the game are still a downside, um, but I mean, I can trash from the broker. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to say probably a hunter first and then Distant Shore after. Coin, favor, and I think I want another bauble. It's only plus buy. I guess another case for Distant Shore is it does block the, um, the Young Witch. This is a sad hand. Uh, Voyage will block Young Witch, but uh, not accomplishing a whole lot else this turn. Hopefully I find my second treasure on the top. It's a good thing to do on a voyage. Bot has two, a third bot? I don't know about a third bobble. I don't think you need three buys anytime soon. Bot has many a favor. Can't buy anything with two. Oh, <laughs> I was clicking the third copper just because it was lit up. But I, in my mind, I was on my voyage turn, and I was like, oh, I can't play the third copper. I can play the third copper. Uh, probably a second shop is fine. Obviously, too many shops can be a problem. Um... I think we're discarding Underling. Play Hunter, hoping to find Sunken Treasure. No such luck, doesn't matter what I pick up. I'll Trash, Curse. Play this just for a favor, but it doesn't really matter. I have way more than I need. This is gonna be a slow kingdom. And that is Hardbot's fault. <laughs> the double Young Witch opening does not do a lot to advance its deck, but it sure as heck slows down mine. Mm. Now we're stuck in this together. <laughs> Underling. Capital City. Uh, yeah, I don't think I value the bubble too much right now. Uh, the voyage. Is that worth triggering? Probably so, right? Um, because like this is gonna be my voyage turn, and I would not mind it if I trigger a nasty shuffle, and then most of my bad cards are on the voyage turn, which would cause the the following turn that actually matters to be a good turn. I shouldn't do it in that order. Not that it's likely to matter, but. This just seems safer. Um, okay, I said probably Distant Shore next. Specialist also looks good. I'll stick with the Distant Shore plan. Coin, favor, third shop. I have a veritable cornucopia of a deck. Uh, oh, am I not gonna be able to trigger a shuffle? Maybe I should have top deck draw. <laughs> the plan was to draw 
one card further than I did. And if I now I'm just gonna get a random shuffle, which is fine. I was really hoping to trigger this shuffle, and then like a bunch of coppers would be missed on the shuffle, which would be great. The void would miss the shuffle too, but that's fine. Void doesn't draw a card. Um, might as well take the favor. It buys. All right, I think I'm slowly pulling ahead in this grind that we were in. The bot still has two capital cities, which is where it was back when I had one capital city. Now I have capital city hunter and distant shore and sunken treasure. So I've hit five a bunch more. Again, this goes back to like the double old witch opening. Um, potentially very oppressive, but like you buy the Bane, the Bane looked fine here. You block a decent portion of the, the curses. And Young Witch is not good at hitting five. Because, like, you draw two, but you also discard two, so Young Witch is draw negative. If you have a five-card hand and play Young Witch, you're going down to four cards. So I think Hardbot is just struggling to hit price points. Apparently it's listening. <laughs> it's burned the Witch. Shop. Shop's a good buy there. It's money. Hardbot needs money. Interesting that it would draw there. Like, what card in Hardbot? I guess finding a broker would be a good reason to draw. Um, it's probably one of the. Maybe the only card in Hardbot's deck that is worth drawing to. Like, if you play Capital City, you play a card with money, you could buy a three cost, which would be good. Um, and then, like, what else in their deck could they possibly want to find? I think the answer is just the broker. So maybe they didn't have the broker and they just got lucky and drew it off the top. Uh, do, 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 do. Go Distant Shore first, I suppose. Shop Underling. I <laughs> think I'm happy with this hand. Oh, that's a little bit rough though. And I do... I continue to have this problem with the... Um, the Voyager thing. Is this going to be too many cards? We'll find out. Okay, yeah, so there are... Oh. Whoopsie. I don't have a card for Broker to trash. Shoot. I don't really want to trash the baubles. Um, perhaps I should not have discarded that copper. This might have been a mistake. It's not going to trash. Oh, well. Um, so... This voyage will not trigger a shuffle, but I could top deck my sunken treasure gain and trigger a shuffle off of that, so let's do that. Coin top deck, coin favor, never mind. Uh, Hunter, Distant Shore, or Capital City would be the three cards that could trigger a shuffle here, or an old map if it existed, or a young witch actually. Um, all, there's like five different cards that could if I put it on top of a six card deck, draw two and trigger a shuffle. Fortunately, four of them are in play and one of them is non-existent. So I guess maybe I just top deck a broker and get in another trash. Seems all right. Could be Jester and attack him. All seems all right. Not feeling the Guildmaster. I think it's broker or Jester. Let's just trash a curse. And buy, oh, I can buy something. Well, that's probably a much better answer than why don't I buy something and top deck it? Problem solved. Um, the something should probably be Hunter then. Okay. I will spend a favor here. I have so many that it doesn't matter. And if I discard, like I don't, I'm not gonna play all these cards, but I don't wanna put this card back into the shuffle I'm about to trigger is the reason to spend one here. One, two, uh, not gonna play the old map, but it doesn't really matter. Trash the curse here.
<laughs> We're still not close to the end of the game. Ay, ay, ay. This is why. This is why, Hardbot. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Hardbot trash yeah, Hardbot's spinning his wheels a bit over there. It I mean trashing a third bubble makes sense. I think three is definitely too many. Um I'm not even sure two two is necessary. Like I haven't used my bubbles very much. Um again, like I think this kingdom could play out very differently with a slightly more amicable bull opponent. These decks would be going much further, much faster without the, the cursing stuff happening. Um, fortunately, it appears that Hardbot curses humanity for its existence, and I am at present bearing the brunt of that hatred. <laughs> Let's draw all the things. Am I more likely than Hardbot to take another distant shore? I like the distant shores. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Hardbot doesn't have a sunken treasure, which is the easiest way to get them here. Um, so I'm not really enabling it by leaving the shores on top. There we go, good hunter. Atoning for past sins. Yeah, let's just trigger this shuffle, I think. Can't play both of these. All of a sudden, I'm kind of wishing I did have plus buy. Um, I'd have eight, which would be like just barely enough to make use of it. I'll just trash a copper here and kill this estate in the near future. Uh, specialist looks lovely because I could use another village effect. And another hunter, or another capital city, perhaps. Probably hunter. Here, I think I am safe to discard because. I'm at the top of a shuffle, it doesn't really matter what I put in the discard pile. Uh, for sure I want to play the Young Witch, for sure I want to play the Sunken Treasure. I know the Young Witch will hit based on last turn. I think it's pretty much irrelevant whether I play these. Like I cycle slightly further through the shuffle, but at the top of the shuffle, the shuffle is fine. I don't see any particular reason either way. I'll, I'll play it, just see. Okay, hmm. I mean, Specialist is a card that could maybe change that equation. I could still play Young Witch and Sunken Treasure, but now I also have the option of playing one of those things twice, uh, which might be better. So like, between Sunken Treasure and Young Witch, which do I value more? Well, there's only one curse in the pile, so if the answer is <laughs> Young Witch, then I should probably just play Young Witch Sunken Treasure anyway. <laughs> um... I'm gonna go with double sunken treasure, final answer. Hardbot has trapped us, uh, play again, in purgatory far too long. And I think distant shore emptying, emptying the, the estate pile might be the easiest way out of here. Uh, and only one curse left, it'll be given out at some point, I presume. Actually, maybe here, I don't have a odyssey in hand. Hardbot finds it's young, which I'll take the final curse. So estates can empty pretty soon, curse can empty, there's no other pile that's super low, but bobble is low-ish. <laughs> the voyage? That can't be right. Ain't no way. Yeah, the, the bot's deck, I think, just still doesn't do anything. Like, you, it can spin around, but then what does it accomplish? Potentially plays Young Witch, which usually whiffs, would hit it here. Plays a, a Broker, which could thin, but it's using it for additional drawing. It hasn't really hit 5 enough to add all that much.
<laughs> Unfortunately, it is playing all these little cards that draw a card each time and thinking about every one of them. And as usual, my suspicion is that the bot gets slower when it's losing because it's harder to figure out what to do. Because nothing that jumps out is clearly a good play. Um, and that seems to be going on here. Oh no! Not the curse. Fine, you can give me one last curse just for old times' sake, card bot. You worked so hard at it. Isn't this how the villain in Tarzan dies? Where in, in an attempt to spite Tarzan, he ends up hanging himself. I feel like that summarizes a hard bot to play here. I could also just be totally wrong with the plot of Tarzan. I haven't seen the movie in at least a decade. But this feels like a Tarzan play. Uh, I'm going to spend a favor. I trigger a shuffle at some point here. Don't want to stay in it. And again, if there's even a slight reason to spend a favor, I might as well, because I have oodles and oodles and oodles. <laughs> Probably Capital City first, so that when I play this thingy, I uh, don't put the estate I just gained into the shuffle. Underling. Uh, I'm going to go Specialist Broker, just in case. Um... I was worried I might need to trash a second thing to draw on if I didn't draw anything good off of that estate. As it is, ooh, yeah, I still kind of did it. Didn't even find my voyagey thing. Uh, I presumably one of these curses are out. I guess I'll I'll vote Guildmaster. Let's end this hard bot once and for all. Okay, so four estates, three baubles. If I play all three distant shores, that's three estates. Gaining one estate and three baubles. Sounds like it shouldn't be that hard, but with the quality of these decks, that might not happen this turn. I think if I get lucky with my draws, I can maybe gain a bauble off a specialist. Um, I think it's possible that the game ends this turn. We will see. Uh, sadly, Curse Hurts Hunter a lot. But happily, I found a draw card nonetheless. Estate. I could also. I was talking about specialist gaining bobble. It's probably even better to just use specialist on a distant shore to uh, gain that last estate. Also, hard bot, what are you doing? I got a 12 point lead on you. Well, I had an 11 point lead at the point that they bought that. Why are you lowering that pile? Like, <laughs> the hard bot just helped me out. He's like, put me out of my misery, please. Uh, I'm doing my best hard bot. We're gonna we're gonna get out of this. Um, <laughs> I've already played a hunter. Specialist. Shop. Specialist. Um, I mean, I could gain this and play it most likely, but I don't even think that's worth thinking about here. Let's just play it again. If this game weren't going longer, it would make more sense to gain the specialist and draw back around to it. All right, that's all the estates accounted for. Guildmaster joined just in the nick of time. Sunken treasure ain't doing nothing. Buy coin, buy coin, buy coin, buy coin, buy bot. I'd say it was a pleasure. That would be a lie. Yeah, so, uh, conclusion, Young Witch is not very strong. It's a lot more of a damaging attack to your opponent's will to live than it is to their deck. Uh, this was 
much more of a doozy than it looked like. And I really do, I think it just comes down to the bot went for the double young witch thing, which I don't think was, was strategic, but made the game really drag on. Um, so given that that happened, um, you just add a bunch of the odysseys, and I think you block enough curses to deal with it. Hypothetically, if they don't do that, I think the kingdom looks a bit different. You probably see these engines get a little bit more off the ground. You're still playing with largely the same set of cards, like Specialist Hunter, Capital City, Distant Shore, all look really good. Sunken Treasure, I thought, did a lot of work here as well. Uh, oh, yeah, right, I killed it. Sorry. <laughs> I sank, sank it again. <laughs> it's back from whence it came. Um, but uh, that card is, I think, iffy a lot of the time, but I thought it did work here. Um, so you just, all those things still, but the decks just work better because they're not fighting off curses the whole time. And that's probably what this game would look like versus two respectable folks.